Welcome back to a, another day of vlogmas. <sighs> Let me put away my coat. Y'all, I had the worst night ever. Oh my goodness. I was in so much pain. I haven't felt like a pain like that since like <sighs> the last time I cramped like that maybe like three months ago because I have um I have fibroids and then I also have cysts on my ovaries some are in the inside some are on the outside so you know I battle that so last night it was one of those days where I got attacked and man, it was so bad that I ended up puking. Is it twice? Did I puke twice or once? I can't even remember. I feel like after that I was dizzy. I got up at like, I went to sleep around, I would say around like 12.45 a.m. because I was editing the vlog that I need to post today. I was editing, doing the finishing touches, and then um, I went to sleep, I knocked out, because you know, when you're on your cycle, it makes you, well at least for me, I don't have energy, it makes me very sleepy, so I did that. And then I woke up in the middle of the night, it was like, I would say like 3.30 a.m. around that time, and I had the worst freaking pain on the planet. It hurt so bad, y'all. It hurt so bad that, like, I was crying. That's how bad it was. Oh my goodness. And then to make it, to make matters worse, that happened, and so I was in pain. And then I was just like, oh my god, like, because sometimes, like, the, the, the gynecologist has warned me in the past, and she's told me, like, you know, sometimes with the cysts around your ovaries, from time to time, they can burst. And then when they burst, that's when, like, that excruciating pain comes from. So I think that's what happened in the middle of the night, because they're really, like, miniature size, but from time to time, they just burst. It's kind of like, what can I compare it to? It's kind of like if you have kidney stones, like small kidney stones, there's not much to do about it. If it's small, you just got to like pass it through. That's kind of like what it is with the cyst. If it's really small, there's not much to do about it. And it's kind of pointless to get surgery. So you got to just like wait until like it bursts and disappear. And I think that's what happened last night. And it hurt so bad. And I like I had to take medication. And then, yeah, I've been up since like three something. And I took an, I finally was able to go back to sleep around, what time was it? It was like, I think it was like around 6.45 a.m. And then I had to wake up at 8 a.m. Because then I had to get ready to come out here to start work. So, <laughs> and in the middle of the night, and the reason why it took so long as well, because when that happened, I was in pain. So then I took my medication. And then, um... I threw up. It made me so nauseous. I ended up throwing up. So it was just like it was a cycle of craziness. I feel a little better today. I did take medication because I was hurting way too bad. I usually avoid medication, but y'all, yeah, it was hurting way too bad. And so I think I need to warm this up. It got a little cold. But yeah, that's that's what happened to me last night. 
I was going through y'all. I was fighting for my life. But let me go make my hot towels and warm this up and then come back. day and being a woman but yeah that was my struggle throughout the night i was going through it i was going through it fighting for my life and now i gotta get ready for today's client and i went to dunkin donuts this morning but look at how cute this packaging is are you kidding me this bag is so uh, like i want to save it and then look at this how cute is that i kind of want to save it i'm not gonna lie i kind of want to save it and i think i'm gonna create artwork with it i'm gonna wash this out and then like I don't know what I'm going to place in it, but I'm going to place something in that and decorate with it. And then I'm going to put maybe like cotton swabs or something in this bag. It's just too freaking adorable. I love Dunkin' Donuts. That was actually my first job that I ever had was at Dunkin' Donuts right out of high school. Um, what did I get? I got an old-fashioned donut. I just wanted a donut for breakfast because, you know, you're craving sweets when you're on that thing. And I was like, okay, well, rather than get, like, glazed or, like, sprinkled or anything, so he's got a regular old-fashioned donut. And then this right here is hot chocolate with almond milk. So, hopefully it tastes good. Let's see. Not bad. It still tastes like she made it with water rather than almond milk and added probably almond milk afterwards, but it's not bad. I like making on it, so I'm never disappointed. But yeah, today's a crazy day. You know what I really want to try? Everyone's been talking about it, and I just need to know, like, does it taste good or... Does it taste good or are they lying about it? The, what is it called? The true fruit um, fruits, like the frozen fruit with dark chocolate. So it's dark chocolate covered, um, hold on, what am I doing? Because I'm, I'm, I'm giving you nothing right now. It says a big taste of heaven on earth true fruit frozen fresh um fruits made with 100 percent real fruit frozen fresh then immersed in white and dark chocolate that's what it says and i've been seeing it everywhere and everyone's acting like it's the best thing on the planet so i really want to try it i want to see like is it worth it or y'all lying but this is what the packaging looks like I really want to try these. I really want to try these. I don't know where I'm going to be able to find it out here, but so there's like strawberry version, there's cherries, a raspberry, blueberries, banana, um, pineapple. It's like, it looks like it's like every fruit. Coconut, apples. I mean, everyone's making it seem like it's so good. So I'm, I'm just, I'm really excited to try it out. So I don't know where I bought, why I need to buy it. I think some people are buying it at Target. And then other people, I believe, are buying it at Walmart. We have a Target out here, but 
there's no Walmart nearby. So I'm going to go check out at Target and see if they have it and how much it costs. But I just, I don't know. I want to, like, I'm curious now. Because I keep seeing it over and over and over again. So I'm like, hmm. Now I want to know if it actually tastes like fruit. Because I love fruit and then dark chocolate is my favorite. So, you know. But anyway, yeah, I'm about to have my sweets for breakfast. And um, start off my clients. So I'll catch y'all in a bit. I'm 
Mm-hmm. 
Alright y'all, so I've got like an hour break before my next um, client and it's time to let these go. So we're going to say goodbye to Christmas nails and I'm going to leave them short for the next few days because I want to do, I don't know, whenever it comes to the new year, I like to bring it in with a clean house, my business all cleaned out, I like to have like my laundry um, done, I like to have the things organized in my house, I like to have fresh nails on, fresh pedicure, I like to have my hair done, do my facials, I just like to bring it in good energy. So I'm going to cut this off and then the next few days I'm going to keep my nails short so I can be able to do a deep cleaning. Like I'm taking everything apart, dusting, doing all the works. And then I got to figure out which day I can come in to do my new year nails. So we're going to cut these off and soak them off while I have that time to spare. Also, I don't really, let me place this down so you can, you know, see me. Um, I don't know when I'm going to have time to do it. I got to find time. I'm probably going to have to come in early or either stay late. Also, I don't know what I want to do with my nails. Because this one was super detailed and I love it. But I'm stuck be in between doing really beautiful, like, classy nails for the new year. Or, like, over the top and blinged out. Those are my two options. I'm not sure what version I want. I don't know if I want to be classy with it or if I want to be extra AF. I have absolutely no idea. But it's time for these to come off. It's been fun. And I know technically Christmas hasn't hit yet. You know, we still got a few days before that happens. But if I don't do this now, then I'm either not going to have time or it's just going to pass by and I not feel it. And then I'm going to be upset with myself that I let these be my New Year nails. But I've enjoyed them. They've been super cute and fun, you know? But yeah, y'all. We're going to continue this. Soak it off. Take it off. Whatever. And... I'll catch you guys later when it's all done, okay? This one's good, but missing one finger. No, you don't know. Oh, no, you're wrong. It's not the 
is clean the good thing is that I feel 100 times better what's happening here <laughs> oh 
Hold on. My client is trying to pay, but it's giving her a time. Let's see if that works. If that doesn't work, let me know. We'll just do it a different way. It didn't record any of that. If that doesn't work, let me know. We'll just do it in a different way. Wow. Anyway. I feel a lot better. But I'm not going to lie. I'm scared to eat. Because I threw up in the middle of the night. And I haven't really had like a full meal yet. I spent the whole day, the only thing I had was that breakfast, the donut and the hot chocolate. And with that, my stomach is fine. But I don't know if I should eat or if I should do like a protein shake. You know, maybe a protein shake on my way out. Maybe like a peanut butter banana. I don't know. And I gotta finish the rest of my, yo, look at how crazy, look at the difference. Okay, look at my left hand. You see how beautiful, look at how I butchered my right hand. Oh my goodness, it is a hot mess. Do you see that? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it and deal with it tomorrow. But yeah, y'all. That's all for today. There's not much else. Because I just, you know, if you're a woman, you understand. You understand. If you're a woman, you understand. I don't really want to do anything. I just want to go home, wash, eat, or maybe not eat. I haven't decided yet. And go to bed. Alright, but. Alright, let me finish doing what I gotta do. I'll catch y'all tomorrow for continuation of Vlogmas.